1956 dual gear for its final drive. This is the most significant dual gear. Why is that, Kels? Because it is serial number one out of 110 ever made. It is actually the very first dual gear produced. It's Portofino blue, as in the Portofino Inn in California. This car's been in California its entire life since 1956. It's only had two owners. We just completed a rotisserie restoration that took 24 months. Testing tuning's done. We now get to take the final drive. It's gonna be sad to see it go. Still going to Pacific Grove to the Worldwide Auction. You can see the details at WorldwideAuctioneers.com. It is the most significant dual gear in the world. It is serial number one. And this will be the first time it's changed hands or been in a public event. It was shown in 1959 at Palm Beach and again in 1961 at Pebble Beach. But after that, it resided in Monterey, California for its entire life. It is a numbers matching car. It still retains its original engine. It is stunning. Check it out. This thing runs and drives incredible. It is all dialed in. Motor runs perfect. It was, the motor was dynoed before we put it in the car. So we broke it in. Transmission was built on the transmission dyno. All the gauges have been restored. Tack works. Speedometer, odometer working. The original badges for the first time it was shown at Pebble Beach. And that gold, the 1959 Palm Beach badge, the 1961 badge. And then the original build tag for Sasha Lapman, who was the very famous artist in Palm Beach and Monterey at the time, who was the original owner of this car. This car is all California. It's got its roots from Portofino, Monterey, and Palm Beach. Now it's going back to Monterey, where it was its entire life. It's been 20, exactly 24 months in Texas being restored. This was not an easy job. When we sent the chrome plating out to the platers, we had 510 pieces labeled for this car. That is the, the biggest number of chrome pieces we've ever sent out at one time. Just to photograph and catalog those took a couple days. So in 1956, this was arguably the most expensive car in the world. Frank Sinatra had one, Dean Martin had one, Eisenhower had one, Ronald Reagan had one. And there's a very interesting story about this car. When we found this car, it was 100% complete. And many people had tried to find it before. Well, the reason they couldn't find it is this car was titled under its engine number. So there's a lot of people trying to track down 101, you know, under DG or dual gear or whatever through, through history, they never could find it. So this car is still on its California pink slip under its engine number. Another really interesting story is this car was 100% complete. We got it except for the hubcaps. The hubcaps were sent out to be restored at some point in time and they got lost. When Frank Sinatra bought his dual gear from Hollywood Sports Cars, he brought it back two weeks later because he did not like the look of the hubcaps. He wanted real wire wheels. So what they did is they gave him some 72 spoke Kelsey Hayes wire wheels. And that's what they put on his car when it was two weeks old. These hubcaps were taken off of Frank Sinatra's car, wrapped in paper and put on the shelf. We found the hubcaps off of Frank Sinatra's car and they're now on this car. So they are the finest original set of hubcaps in the world. They didn't have to be restored. But here's the kicker. Guess how much we paid for them. And guess how. Two grand? We paid 